Well, good day, tubes. How's she going? So, today is kind of sort of almost a nicest kind of day out there. And um, I was thinking of maybe doing my first oil change in my new truck here. Uh, I've got the oil sitting here and stuff. I got this mobile, mobile one stuff, 5W30 synthetic stuff. This is like $56 for this jug of 4.4 liters. It's ridiculous. And then I, of course, that's not enough, so I had to get another couple of liters of this. And this was like 10 something a piece to almost $11 a piece. Ridiculous, you know. But, uh, anyways. That's what they say it needs is that synthetic for the uh, turbos and stuff. And it's better for the engine too, they say. So it lasts longer. You can actually drive it further like that. But uh, yeah, so 530 synthetic. I brought it in here about three or four days ago or maybe more than that now just to let it kind of warm up instead of sitting in the truck and being ice cold. And it's, you know, you can't pour it quite as nicely easily. So, but uh, yeah, so this um, truck takes 5.7 liters, I think. Why they couldn't have made one little more little valley there and made it an even six? I don't know. Another 200 mil. I guess that's a fair bit. So, well, 200 mil would be. Whoa. Yeah, 200 mil. So, the whole thing up to like here is like the one liter, 1,000 milliliters. And that's your 200 milliliters. So, I guess that is, you know, a fair bit more of oil to, you know, put in there. But. Yeah, so we got that. We got that. Just finished my lunch. Good to go. I gotta take the truck for a little bit of a drive, I guess, to warm it up and stuff and then get the oil flowing around and better than just coming and dumping it. And uh, I don't know if I've got to put it up on my stands. Uh, somewhere back here are my stands. Like my uh, ramps. Ramps. Um somewhere back in here are my ramps <laughs> yeah they're way back way back over there i got some of them plasticky ones that apparently hold like ten thousand pounds hopefully <laughs> uh so anyways uh, we're gonna have to take her for a little bit of a drive and then uh see if i can get underneath it without the stands it's a little bit higher than my sierra was so i should be able to get under it um hopefully and if not then i'll have to just drive it up on the stands and uh get underneath her that way and we'll go finally have a nice look underneath. Something that's hopefully not totally rusty like the old girl was. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's head her up. We'll get fired up and uh, go for a little tour, get her warmed up. Um, actually, I might just even for my tour run out to maybe TSC. I didn't get this oil at TSC, but I want to kind of see what they've got out there because I can actually probably get it for a better price out there because I've got connections. Uh, but uh, anyways, let's head her out. Well, let's see. Um, I mean, when I got this thing, I keep it's got the double trip thing here. Uh, it's got the double trip thing here. Trip A is what I hmm, let me think here now. Oh yeah, this is the, the trip A is the one I reset when uh, we got it. So uh, trip A is like how many kilometers I put on her and stuff you know since we've first got this truck here so 6710k yeah they think they can say you can run it to 8000 on the synthetic um there's i use this one for every time uh I refill so so we burnt uh 1046.2 liters of fuel it's averaging 15.5 liters per hundred not too bad and uh, 6,710.8 kilometers and 168 hours, 5 minutes and 56 seconds. So, that's kind of cool. Um, 
gauge mode. That's just your trans temp, and then I don't know what the other one is, but uh, yeah. So fuel economy 15.1 average. So that's not too bad. So um, yeah, let's go for a little tour um, somewhere here. I'm gonna maybe just run out to the TSC and uh, see what they've got for oil. Even though I don't need the oil right now because I got the oil sitting there, but for next time I'll know uh, what uh, what is available for oil. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have it there. I also want to see if they've got that zero. Which way should we go? Let's go this country or way. The, the other way. If I turn left here, it's you know major highway, city kind of kind of crappy highway way this way it's a little more a little more better but it's a little more longer too so but uh we'll have to get her good and warmed up you know it just makes the oil flow out to the guy better and drain down through the engine to the bottom and flow out the, the whole drain hole better so um i mean i've done it either way but i find if you don't have it nice you know warmed up operating temperature will say when uh you go to dump it out if it's cold it takes forever to drain out so this way it'll be quite a bit faster so. but uh, I don't know if I'm gonna film the whole entire way out here uh, it's kind of a kind of longer this way so um, I know the driving is you know kind of boring for you guys and stuff but I don't know some of you might be interested in our area or something you know or our district our area or whatever you call it so maybe we'll film most of it I don't know I also got to watch my battery and stuff too I might have to juice my battery up a little bit on the camera it's not too bad right now it's still showing 52 minutes and it's not great really uh, that's actually not super too accurate on these cameras I probably got more like 40 minutes there it says 52 but yeah I, depends how much you zoom in and out and all this stuff right if you leave it sitting there it might not be too bad but uh oh, maybe. maybe what we'll do is while i'm in tsc i won't be able to film in there of course i'll uh, juice the camera off my charger guy there kind of thing and uh, that should give us up over the hour so um because i actually filmed uh video for the uh, motorcycle channel this morning which I don't exactly know when that's going to be up but it'll be up probably a couple of days after today's video um, on the other channel there so I'll put a link to the uh, to that channel if you want um, you can go check that out there and you know do the do the Dewey there where it tells you you know if you subscribe and then you can have a uh, an email notification sent to you if I've ever uploaded something new then you'll know when something's up and ready to go you know so a lot of people will say oh you haven't uploaded anything to your motorcycle channel for a long time but well I have but uh, they don't have the email notification so they don't actually know unless you actually go to the channel and and look if there's something new which is kind of a more of a nuisance rather than just getting a little notification email coming in saying yeah new video up which probably a lot of you do on this channel but um, on, uh, on that one I don't know I've had that quite a bit more on the other channel oh you haven't uploaded anything which yeah okay I haven't uploaded much this this uh, winter of course on the motorcycle channel but um, that helps though if you get an email notification so great big hill there and all of a sudden we're back up to farming sort of land actually there's a great big gravel pit over here that's still going I think but they must be just about out of their what do you call that they get a certain amount of time I think it's like 25 20 25 years they're allowed to to uh, mine the aggregate out of there and then after that they have to uh, I don't know level it off and then that's it right you can't go so much more so I think pretty much they're to their edge here this is like the corner edge and I don't think there's a whole lot more after that so but if this gravel and that gravel pits is like the stuff I'm digging out of where I'm working at the cemetery here it's probably pretty good stuff in there <laughs> I don't know the more you go down you might get into more boulders and stuff but I guess they crush all that up to to gravel you know so I don't know what's going on here today there's a bunch of school buses in here must be doing training maybe that's the uh, fairgrounds here the Orangeville fairgrounds 
weeks where they have the fall fair and some other events and stuff and <clears throat> lots of fun. So, uh, oh, pardon me again, we're on uh, what they call, oh crap, it used to be Five Side Road here. What the heck is, they renamed them all on us again. I don't know why. Let's check this sign out here. It's probably County Road 21 or something. Silly like that, what do they say here? Oh, there's Five Side Road here. Okay, that's good. So yeah, this is Five Side Road. And uh, we're gonna follow this all the way up to what they call Third Line, which is actually past the TSC. But uh, it'd be easier to turn right, head back to the TSC, than turn left against two lanes of traffic there and uh, try to get back that way, so. But anyways, uh, it's a pretty nice little road here. It used to be all gravel at one time, but uh, the last, I think, eight, ten years ago maybe, they paved this all the way up to the town line, which is, oh boy, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, past the seventh line, I think it is, and then it turns into the the township's town line, and then the next township starts after that. So, hydro guys, hydro guys working down here. Now, hydro, I'm referring to electricity. So, electric, electricity guys. Hydro, I don't know why they call it hydro, but probably, if you can see on the side of maybe one of their trucks here, it'll say Hydro One. So, yeah, it says on that guy's truck, that guy didn't shave today. Or yesterday, maybe. Oh, they're cutting trees down. So you can see the Hydro One. Oh, well, they're cutting a lot of trees down here. Clearing the place out. So, hey, bud. I don't think that guy shaved it either. <laughs> of course, I guess I didn't either. Huh? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I've got a bit of a challenge for some of you guys. Uh, <clears throat> some of you guys like to do, say, impressions or something, I guess you call it. Or uh, voices of certain things, you know, like funny voices and stuff or whatever. Uh, some of you may not know this, but I can do a pretty killer, really good actually. Not, you know, pumping my own balloon up here, but really good uh, impression of Kermit the Frog. Uh, and if none of you know what Kermit the Frog is, some of you younger guys may not know. Um, he was part of a show by Jim Henson. Um, way back called the Muppets and it was basically a bunch of foamy puppets that were uh, uh, He did I think most of all the voices he's dead now though, but uh, They're still around if you look up Kermit the Frog on uh, uh, YouTube you should be able to find um, Videos and stuff of him doing skits. He actually did one I don't know who it was, but the voice didn't seem very good. I think I could have done it better, but anyways. Um, the voice was... Uh, i got to turn right here. This is third line already. The voice wasn't bang on, but uh, anyways. I did an ice ILS ice bucket challenge thingy there. I, ALS, sorry. ALS. ILS. Where did I get that from? Anyways. The ice bucket challenge. It was hilarious. <laughs> but the voice wasn't right. I'm like, oh, that doesn't even sound good. But uh, the challenge is... If you guys so wish to, um, make up a video of yourself doing Kermit the Frog's voice and uh, post it to my YouTube fan page. If you haven't joined that either, I'll put that link into the bottom there too. And, uh, you know, just saying something like, hi, my name is blah, 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 this is Kermit the Frog here, blah, 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 you know, whatever. You yeah, should probably watch some videos to kind of see what kind of stuff he would say, you know. And um, post it on there. I sh should, I think, be able to get the videos... Ooh, wait a minute now. I should be able to get them off of there. I'm not 100% sure if I can, though. Um, otherwise, maybe if you've got your own channel, post it there. Send me a link through... That would be probably be better, actually. Send me a link through... The Facebooks there, even private message me or something, and um, you know I want to see uh, if you guys can do the uh, Kermit the Frog uh, voice over a guy too. You know, I'm pretty good at it, and actually I made my I never done it in front of my kids before, 
and uh, I did it the other day and they're like, holy cow, that's really good. Are you sure you're not the voice for him? I'm like, no. <laughs> But um, I'll try to I'll try to do it for a little. I don't want to do it right yet for you guys because I want you guys to do it first, and then I'll do a video, maybe like a whole day of a whole video of just doing it. <laughs> it's kind of funny actually, but he, he talks sort of different. He, he sort of talks like this, and you have to really make your voices go longer. Now I'm not putting the actual voice voice in it. That's just sort of the the way he talks, you know. But the the Kermit the Frog you hear, but you have to do the the other voice you know I'm, I don't want to spill it all out right away you know I wanted to let you guys uh, do it a bit first there and then uh, post your videos and then I'll uh, as they're coming in or whatever I'll maybe even post them on on a video so you know everybody's gonna be wondering what the heck's going on here why is, he, is everybody doing Kermit the Frog voice stuff but uh, I don't know video probably should be like a minimum 30 second video maybe up to a minute kind of thing we'll, we'll do it like that like you know you don't want to just say hi my name is and then that's it right you want to a little bit of talking through it too, you know, so. Uh, but yeah, we gotta turn right down here now, and TSC is just down below that valley, so. Uh, but yeah, put your uh, put your guy together there if you, if you feel, you know, enthusiastic too, and uh, we'll throw it onto a video here. And you're probably best to start off, you know, not saying, hi, my, my name is Kermit the Frog, do, uh, do hi, my name is, and then do your actual name, so I know everyone else, you know, yard stuff. Man, these turbos spool up. It does freaking look out. Already doing like 110. <laughs> Holy crap. But anyways, uh, we are almost at TSC if I don't get into this guy's tailpipes here. <laughs> and uh, the next turn on the right here is the TSC. And then we'll have to juice the camera because I see it's down already to 39 minutes. Yeah, that's a long way off 52, eh? So we'll, uh, we'll give her some juice in here and then I'll uh, hit her inside and then uh, let her juice for a bit on the, on the, on the thing here. Oh, a well, good look around and stuff and you know, kill a bit of time and then we'll, we'll hit her back and change up the oil. It looks like it's pretty much up to temperature now. So what is our gauge mode temperature? It's 59 degrees Celsius for the transmission anyways. I'm not doing transmission oil, but that gets you an idea when it's warmed up and stuff. So we're here, we'll juice the camera, and we'll head her in. Park next to a rotten old Dakota. I had one of these once, actually. I had the, the 4x4 V8 Magnum in year 2000, but this one's hurting a little bit. She's got a few years on her. Anyways, we'll head her in. All right, well, made her home. Uh, TSC was kind of a strikeout. I don't know, that's door. It's just never really been that great out here. I really like that listable one. Oh, someone's coming flying out here. But that's like an hour and 20 minutes away from me, that store, so. But, uh, yeah, they, they didn't have oil for my car, the 0W20. They had 0W40, but they had oil for this thing, the 530 full synthetic, that's good. And surprisingly enough, they did actually have some oil filters too. They're FRAM filters, but that's all they carry there, so. But I got a couple of filters for the car and I got one more for this guy. And uh, surprisingly, I was actually really shocked at this. The, um, I have to clean my spot here a bit. The uh, Fram filter at Walmart was like a dollar twenty-seven something more expensive than the TSC. That's unheard of. <laughs> but anyways, it's all right, I guess. So I, that's for the, the my, my car, the new car there. It was cheaper, so I got um, got two of those there. So, you know, put them in stock and uh, we'll be good to go. So anyway, it's just got to clear the spot here on the ground because I got to kind of, well, I'll probably put a sheet of plywood or something down if I can grab something here that's not super dirty and we'll be laying on that. But um, I think for video wise, I'm probably going to put it up on my stands anyway so I can get under and maybe look around. But instead of being like right here and trying to shoot it, you know, be a little more room. So makes sort of sense. So anyways, I'll do a little bit of sweeping, cleaning up here and um, we'll throw them up on the stands and we'll get uh, dumping the oil out. Oh, 
Okay, well, normally I'd throw a sheet of something down there. I don't know. It's a pain in the rear end. <laughs> uh, pretty dirty, though. Uh, how much room do I got to begin with here, anyways? Not a whole lot, so, oh boy. Well, well, I guess we'll just crawl in here. And I gotta find the drain hole somewhere is under here. Don't think it's up under there. It's kind of a cool looking cover though. Gotta be back in here somewhere, boys. Okay, let me go looking. Okay, found her just underneath this cover. Above this cover, just on screws. It's got screw things in there. That should be awesome when they go rusty and crappy and crappy, but anyway, sir, she is right in the corner. Pretty tight, pretty small. I know that's the transmission. I don't want to touch that one yet. <laughs> oh, it's so nice when they're clean and not leaking all over the place and not super too rusty. The exhaust pipe's a little rusty, but that's a given. But I mean, the frame is all nice and still blackish and stuff. Oh boy. Oh boy. She's so nice when she's new. Newer-ish. It's leaking back there for some reason though on that skid pan. I don't know why, but this is the off-road version of this truck, so it's got all these skid plates. No, I don't think this one here would really hold up to too much. But uh, there's your uh, trans axle driving your front here, this rusty thing here. They don't treat them with nothing, so they just rust away. But um, catalytic converter, it looks like it's got a resonator pipe there. That's what this one is here. Then your final exhaust. Just like cars, car mechanic sim. But anyways, uh, let's see here now. Where can I get you guys situated? Maybe I'll be able to see how we're doing this. I don't know if that's any good or not. Hang on, we'll frigger, frigger it out here. Tripod's being grumpy. Okay, so where are we going here? That's the plug there. And of course the torsion bar thingy's right in the way. But anyways, I'm sure we'll still pee out. <laughs> I don't know what size that is. It looks like about a 14 or a 15 mil. Ten, eleven, twelve. That's too small. Holy, what size was that one? 14 mil, so it's probably a 15 mil. Come on. What's going on here? I'm taking 15. I went the wrong way. Yep, even Henry's gone to metric. Henry Ford, isn't that all? And filter. I have not found the filter yet. Oh, it should be right up. Somewhere in here. Fuel or oil filter. Hmm. I don't think it's up top. It's gotta be back in here somewhere. That's the starter. Wow. I'm not really too sure where the filter is yet. I'll get the oil draining out here first. Good and warm. Oh crap. I am going the right way. Okay, this is the part that I hate. I'm just gonna go flying out that way. Yeah. 
I get it all over you. I should have my gloves on, I guess. Garbage truck guy's here. Okay, we'll let that sit a minute. Still have not found my filter yet. Maybe it is up top, I don't know. Okay, we'll let that drain in a minute, and then we'll go see if we can find the filter. Okay, so apparently under this flap here, somewhere here is supposed to be the oil filter. This is, ooh, under the radiator here. I don't see any. Oh, there it is too, what a dirty thing. Buried way up in there. <laughs> um, now this is supposed to just come off. I don't know if it comes any more than that, but there's supposed to be a little trough or something for the stuff to get to. See if I can get Jews up here to see. It's up in there somewhere. Doesn't look super fun, especially this big air dam thing here. Um, a lot easier probably if it was up on a on a hoist, but by looking at it up from above there, I don't know if you get down there any easier anyway, so let's just have a look. Just above here. I guess we could just go right in there. <sighs> yeah, it's just down in there. I can just see it now, of course, because I got this thing up so high I can't reach it either. <laughs> but I don't know if there would be enough room to get down through there anyway, so got all these air tubes here, right? Intercooler tubes. So I guess I'll have to mess around with it from underneath and uh, see if I can get it from underneath there. Anyways, I probably won't film that because I'm going to have to pretty much get right up in there. You won't see anything anyway, so. Uh, we'll get that off, we'll get the new one on, and then uh, I think I'm going to have to manually push her down so I can get in there to fill it, because I can't even reach that to fill her back up here now. Okay, I can't say that I like that uh, placement of that oil filter at all. Uh, it wasn't bad once I found it to get it off, but trying to get it screwed back on because you can't see what you're doing. And it's all by like, by like feel basically, right? So if you don't got the thing on the hole right and you try to screw it on, it won't screw on. Eventually I got it, but oh man. I don't know, I didn't sort of like that too much. It might be kind of an idea to remember maybe to take that off first. When, um, I don't know if that's supposed to go there or what, but uh, take it off first, do it that way instead. So I think I'm gonna have to pretty much roll her down off these uh, stands here now so I can get get to it so oh. and no roll <laughs> here we go there don't start it up with no oil in it oh it wouldn't start maybe I don't know it might it might not maybe it's got a safety thing on there that it wouldn't start but uh, that's a little better I can reach in here now okay we'll have to put you guys maybe up over here somewheres and we need 5.7 liters of oil okay sorry about the spots on the Dewey there I don't know I guess I'm gonna have to maybe retire this camera I got that new one a while back but I just uh, I've been crazy about it, so it's just too, it's too large. I like these guys for a small yard. But anyways, this is four liters. And these 5.7 apparently. Looks a little cleaner than the other stuff I just dumped out. Seem to get pretty black pretty fast. I'm really wondering if they actually changed it when I bought it. I don't know, they say they did, but who knows? see the top spout there like on the, on the opening on the top of this thing but if you pour too much too fast it'll pour out the top there of course gravity will work so far I see no extra dripping so that's good 
See, I don't know about that cover underneath there. That seems kind of sort of chintzy-ish. I could see that end up not staying on eventually. Whenever it screws up or the, the holes they screw those screws into uh, rot out or whatever it's going to happen. Yeah, salt in there will take anything out. Okay, so there's four. We'll get the 1.7 liter and we'll be right on back. All right, this should do her. I really like having this uh, oil jug thing here. Although it'd be nice to have like four different ones for different types of stuff you're doing because you know every time you want to use this for something else you got to clean it all out and wipe it all down and make sure there's no cross contamination with nothing. Most times it's pretty good but you know different different engine oils is probably all right because there wouldn't be that much in the bottom but if you're doing transmission oil <laughs> and engine oil you'd want to make sure that you, you uh, Definitely, uh, I wonder if I can get that to stand up in here. Okay, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit there and drain for a few. And, uh, check our level deweys. It should be fine, because that's what they recommend. And, uh, hopefully it should be good. Okay, that's probably mostly drain out. I'd like to leave her maybe a couple of days, but I don't think I can do that. <laughs> so that's good. That's good. I'll throw this guy on here. Oh, well, that's it. <laughs> and we'll fire it up, and I'm going to do it a different way here. A way that you can do her. Um, this is your little button over here. I don't know if it's showing you that, but there's a button when the hood's down, so you can't start it with the hood up. But anyways, if I push that down... Let her run for a minute here. Let her run and uh, soicoate that stuff around a bit and let her settle a minute or two and then we'll uh, check our levels. Now, I still got that air intake kit here I have to put on. It would have been a nice day today, but. Any sort of noise there. Blub, 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 blub. Count to ten. Ready? One, two, three, um, four. No, I'm just kidding. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight oh, nine, ten. stealing my truck. I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> and I had to put my key away already. These noisy things right here. That's that's what um Hi 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 Noisy. Well these are nice to get to when they screw up you can uh, get in there to replace them. Uh but anyways yeah we'll let that sit a minute let stuff settle out and check our levels. See what that did was uh cycle the oil around and let it fill the filter back up and um 5.7 liters it said. I uh, read that in the book. I don't think it actually tells you anywhere up here, which would be make a lot of sense. That's refrigeration. It's Ford Motor Company. Uh, fuel gasoline. 3.5 group. No adjustments needed. Blah, blah, blah. Not for sale. It states with California Mission Standards. It doesn't meet their standards. Oh. They even stamped in their Ford thing here. That's kind of cool. If you can see that or not. Probably lots of little things like that they stamped in everywhere. But anyways, yeah, you can see all the salt and crap, eh? All this white junk, all that salt built up in there. Dirt and stuff. Oh man, it's so hard to keep everything clean. You know, they've sprayed that. Make it look nice and shiny new goo on it, but look at the mess it leaves behind after so many kilometers. It's just freaking nasty. I kind of should have told them not to do that, but it's part of their package, I guess. 
So that's what it should look like under here, like this. Nice and cleanish, but anyways, ugh. Anyways, we'll let her sit a few, and then we'll give her a check. Okay, let's give her a little check here. If I can reach it, they didn't make that very easily. There's way back here. Give her a nice clean swipe off first. Make sure she's clean and he didn't get any little chunky bits of your towel stuck to your dipstick there, because if you did, that's not good. And I can't even see where it's supposed to go here. What the heck? Wow, even the little dipstick tube there is plastic that this thing goes down into. I think we're pretty good there. It's hard to tell because it's so clean, but it um, looks pretty good. I'll just give her maybe one more wipe there and uh, double make checker sure again. I think we're bang right on the top part of that cross, crossy hatch thing. So that is good. And uh, drive her a little bit and then I'll park her tonight for say and then uh, check her again in the morning to make sure she's still good. And uh, I kind of like to leave some extra towels laying around so I just kind of stuff them down on there. And I wipe the top of the battery off because I think you guys have seen me before. If you um, touch your positive on your uh, uh, tester sh machine there touch her there and then you could touch her like over here you'll get like 0.2 volts or 1 volt or you know some depends where you are that's because all the crap in here is actually letting current run through to the negative so I wiped all that off clean too that could actually drain out your battery if you've had it sat for a while you wonder why your battery is mostly dead probably because of that I still haven't put any juice in this yet I kinda wanna see how far it'll go so now, transmission filter, or transmission dipstick, I got really no idea where that is. It's gotta be somewhere, it's actually probably under this cover, this big plastic cover, which I don't really wanna pop off of here. I don't know, it's probably under there somewhere. Usually they run and then down and around and back and in right so but I guess that should do that for today and power brakes are good I'm guessing wrangle should be good okay close her up could almost use a little bit of coolant in it but for right now guess what's okay Okay, there we go. Changed. You're video bombing me again, aren't you? No. But anyways, that's it for today. Uh, she's all changed, good to go for another 8,000, 7, 8,000 kilometers. I don't know, they say you can go further with a synthetic, but uh, yeah. Really not liking the placement of their oil filter on there, though. That was um, quite a nuisance. Uh, but maybe it's easier to get it from the top, jump way in, stick your arm way down through the, through the inside there and unscrew her and then screw the new one on away you go. Underneath, not so much fun because you cannot tell where you are. <laughs> and uh, having it up on the ramps like that, I don't know if you caught it when I was showing you the filter. There's actually a little trough, a little tray that the stuff's supposed to drip onto and then uh, run down and then into your thing. Well being tilted way back didn't work too well it all went at the back side so I didn't really like that too much so I guess to do her officially you'd have to have another two ramps or a lift would be nice uh, another two ramps and you could drive the backs and the fronts all up onto the thing but eh, I guess it worked pretty good but um, yeah so anyways that's it for today uh, tomorrow no idea what we're getting into it's just still this time of year that's just crap right now there's nothing really happening and the weather still really hasn't turned nice enough to uh, to get the ground going yet. So I haven't been able to get out and clean stuff yet, you know. So, sucks. But uh, anyways, have a good night. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you later.